Hey everyone, it's Ivan, kitbadger.com, out here for another gear review, and today, talking switches. This guy right here, which is the Axon Sync by Unity Tactical. Broad strokes, what is it? It's a switch, the end. Just kidding. It's actually really cool. So it is, I think, their most latest switch, and it does a lot of really cool things. And first of all, this is the Axon, and then Axon, Axon, however you pronounce it, A-X-O-N, I believe. And there is a sync version. So you can either have this work independently with both the light as well as a laser or the sync version, synchronized, meaning this flat portion right here, when you depress that, you will have laser only. And when you press this button up here, very distinct and different from that flat portion, you will have a light and a laser and it is pretty cool. They make a number of different variations of it to include different attachments. So they also, or they do make some with USB-C for some of the newer like tail caps for lights and they make attachment methods, both the crane laser as well as D-ball as well as Ingall, I think. And something kind of cool, if you actually are running the Ingall, is the way the light is set up it's actually set up for or can be set up depending on which model you choose can be set up for white light override so when you mash this you end up with your white light that's attached to whatever white light you have and because of the circuitry of both the switch as well as within the ingall next generation aiming laser what it does is it switches it over to your viz laser and cuts everything straight out of like the IR mode, which situationally can be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I'll show you a close up of this and get to how I've used it. Right here it is currently set up on this Griffin armament gun. And I guess starting up at the front, have this Surefire Scout, this one being the Vampire, so I can switch between visible and IR. Have a 100 Concepts light cap on there. And then coming back, I actually have this plugged in there. This is RAN, seven inch cable. This one is just secured with a Ranger band while this laser unit over here by Holosun, I actually have it secured with some cable management. The only reason I don't over here is because I'm running this rail panel. But the switch right here, it actually clamps directly onto 1913 rail. In this case, up top, I have seen people run them over off the side if you want. And something pretty neat too is probably kind of hard to see, but there's slots down here. So you can actually, in addition to it being screwed on there with um, Torx screws across there, you can actually set it up to where, or you can, because of those slots, actually run zip ties through there, which is pretty neat. And again, this one being a sink, if I press this, I activate my laser. If I press this, which can click on and stay on, I activate my light as well as my laser. And this being a clicky switch, you can like half press and you'll get momentary. If you go all the way down, it'll be constant on and then you just need to click it again to turn it off. So how have I used it and how has it done for me? Well, I've actually shot this unit quite a bit basically kind of this setup on a number of different host guns and it's done great. Like I said, did a ton of shooting with it. Some of it's just some range trips or even just some runs through the shoot house. I also ended up shooting this setup at a night vision competition, which it did really well for me there as well. I've been really pleased with it across the board. First of all, just the shape. 
it is very distinct going from laser only to light and laser and also being able to click it on quick note on that something i actually ran into i would go and i would press this and i would fire think just momentary so i wouldn't click it on but i wanted illumination as well as the laser so i'd press that shoot and then i come off of it and my laser's still on and i actually talked to those guys at shot show i was like hey ran into this do you know what's going on within that switch and he's like oh yeah that's actually your laser and so with a lot of lasers to include this one by hollow sun if you whether it's this button or even just the laser only fire button down here lots of lasers if you double click it'll stay constant on and so even though i was momentarily pressing this what would happen is under recoil that little bit of movement in the gun would basically double click my laser on so then you just click it again turn it off but something i did run into not an issue with the switch it's on the laser side whether it's a feature or not but the other thing i do like well i guess i just mentioned how distinctly different those two buttons are and they're protected there's enough fencing around these to where you don't accidentally hit them or at least in my experience i haven't and i really appreciate that one note on actually setting these up that i've seen some people do is they'll actually reverse it so essentially switch the way that is faced so even more so it is a very distinct thing of hey i'm gonna bring my thumb back to actually activate this light portion which depending on how you run your stuff it can be valuable i guess again just however you want to set it up the sink is awesome for me in my experience in that i like having both of them reason being is the way this gun is set up in that i can flip this guy off turn it over here to ir switch my laser to ir flip that guy off and now i have either laser only or i have ir illumination and my ir laser or i can come back over here switch that to white light switch this over to viz and now i have again green viz laser if i want or both my white light and my laser what if i just want white light and not my laser one for me personally i don't really have a downside to activating a light whether it's ir illumination or white light and respective laser i don't really have a downside there so i like the sync if you want though you can get the one that is not a sync whereby you have a laser and a light activation if you want those completely separate totally up to you in my experience switching is almost more important than honestly whatever you're turning on and off what do i mean by that well if the mall was really only good as a d-ball and the d-ball was as good as a mall which it's not i would still end up using the mall for no other reason than how well the switching works and so lots of times you will end up with a laser unit that is suboptimal for switching by way of example this has a switch up here on top that's not how i want to have to activate that not to mention there's no onboard illumination so what if i actually need illumination to go with that ir or viz laser well then i need to figure out a solution and so this allows you to basically find whatever works best for you or for that matter whatever works best for your budget because some different lasers things like that get really expensive and so for example what this allowed me to do is take a laser that works just laser ir as well as viz one of both those spectrums and pair it with the surefire scout vampire again both spectrums visible as well as ir run it to one switch and now everything's controlled there really easy ergonomic works great and again depending on application and budget you may very well be like this is just for shooting at night so you might just get a ir only laser which you can find relatively inexpensive but they usually suck as far as onboard switching and things like that because it's kind of part of what you're paying for but you can pair just like an ir only laser with a good illuminator like a kiji 
run it all to one switch and bam, like you got poor man's mall basically. So I think this opens doors for a lot of suboptimal, maybe lasers and lights and lets you pair them as you need them for whatever you're doing. Or if you just go big with like an angle or something, it also allows you to get that white light override. Again, depending on which one you choose, all of that. If you go to their website, make sure you get the one you actually need. Tons of different connectors, both for like white light as well as laser units. And this one being the sink, you can also get one that is not sync, depending on what you're looking for. Price wise, because of all those variations, anywhere from I think about 140 to I think like 270 or something like that. Some of them get pretty spendy. And again, comes down to what you're looking for. Two different colors, this one black, I think they have a tan also. And while that switch is arguably pretty expensive, it's often cheaper than like buying something that actually has good switches on it. And so again, allows you to pair whatever is within your budget as far as laser and illuminator and yeah, make your own setup. Overall, I've been pretty pleased. Down below, there'll be links if you want to check it out. And yeah, as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.